first day of work and I'm kind of excited because I'm like I want to know what it's like and I kind of want to meet new people and I don't know I just get a good feeling right today I don't know so we'll see they should be coming so my in. friend okay. is happy <laughs> moving like this I mean, because this is of my the corona so. outbreak and it says right here on this <laughs> human coronavirus right here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. there with my nail in yeah <laughs> corona outbreak and this is how we have to go to work now and I feel like I feel like a resident of Beijing when they had their fire in the air. So I am outside of Kroger and I guess right now we're in national emergency and I got a call at seven o'clock from my mom this morning saying you better go get groceries. And so I'm like, why? She's like, because everything is leaving off the shelves. And then I go into, because I went to Publix first, and then I went to Kroger. There's like no meat, nothing, like nothing. Like no meat and no water. And just everything is gone. It's like kind of scary in a way. So like I went to two different grocery stores that way I didn't get because at Publix the only thing I couldn't find was like rice and beans and stuff like that. So I had to go to Kroger to get rice and beans. And I'm thinking in my head, this is kind of scary actually. And I usually don't get like super involved in like stuff at all, but the fact that you can't even have an option to buy toilet paper or have an option to buy paper towels anywhere or water for that matter like the city has like actually lost it so I ended up getting groceries covering them up so that way people don't like just look at my car and say oh groceries and break into my car or anything yeah because I'm like that in the time of world panic, I still made a trip to my beloved ship, please. Because their coffee is so good and their donuts are even better. So, you know what? I'm still going to be living my life, having my best coffee ever. I think I just found a place of like all my favorite things, and I think that's like really hard to do. Like, there's like Chipotle, there's TJ Maxx, there is Ross, there's Burlington Co. Factory, there is Panda Express, and they're all in the same place. Oh, and they also had a guitar center. So that alone probably means I'm gonna hang out in this spot a lot. So it's always odd to vlog anyway, but like, I'm in my car. I'm hoping I can get like a vocal track. I sing really loud. So I'm like, I don't want to disrupt everybody in my apartment. Not like that. I'm like not doing Friday videos. I'm just trying to find a place where I can sing at my volume and not disrupt everybody. So here we go. Oh my God, you're, you're my number one fan. So iconic, so big like Stan like. So this has like become my studio, like it's me, I hold my microphone, I have my computer on my other seat, and my guitar in the back in case I need it. Yeah, so I've turned my car into a studio. I mean, the sound is pretty good, honestly. It's not like the worst sound I've ever heard, but the fact that I'm in my car and my neighbors think I'm actually crazy. It's kind of a downside. But, oh well, girls gotta practice, girls gotta record, girls gotta do stuff. So you know what? I mean, I came here to do music anyway. So you know what? I'm like, let my neighbors think I'm crazy. Oh well, doesn't matter. And that's the thing. Like, apartment living is like, the walls are very, like, thin. And when I sing and play music it's like i don't want to disrupt my neighbors at all so 
I have to come up with other ways to like be courteous of my neighbors. So I feel like this is the best option of me singing in the car. But kind of makes me look like a crazy person just a little bit. But oh well, this is Nashville, so you know what? People do this all the time. Any Nashvillians, please let me know what you do when you're needing to practice your music and sing and be loud and so that way you don't disrupt your neighbors and your roommates. I'd like to hear some options. Obviously, my car, I feel like, is a temporary option, <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm curious to have some ideas come up with. Can we please brainstorm something better for this? <laughs> so, I'm on lunch at my new job and eating in my car, or was eating in my car, and I don't know. I'm just kind of upset right now because it's like this coronavirus thing. Like nobody can go out anywhere, nobody's doing anything, and all the events are closed, and it just sucks because like I'm in a new freaking city. And so in order to like meet people, I have to go to events and I have to go do things like that. But everybody's advised not to be in crowds right now. And so I'm just kind of like, home work than home and it kind of sucks I ain't gonna lie I'm just kind of like kind of puts a damper on I guess it's like I do want to meet like I mean yeah I have my friends in my apartment obviously my roommates but like I want to meet more people like they're dudes and I'm like I really want a girl pal <laughs> I really do just like somebody to like go hang out and shop and talk about music and like, I don't know, do organic-y things and go to farmer's markets and uh, just, yeah, kind of like looking for a girl pal. And I know my guy friends love me, they do, and I know they love me, but I'm just like, but I want to hang out like a woman and go shopping and like just compare shoes. Uh. Yeah. So, kind of a lonely. But, you know, my friends from back home, they're like texting me and bothering me and stuff. Because I know I'm like in a new city and I can't go anywhere. And I'm just kind of like, like this weekend I was pretty much, like I have the weekends off now. And... I was just home because like I can't go anywhere because all the events were closed <laughs> so kind of sucks right now but I guess I'll get through it I put the vanity together by myself without help So it is Sunday and I'm already like very antsy to do something like we were well the guys are still sleeping up in the apartment because they were playing video games until like five in the morning I mean I was there with them until one granted <laughs> but then I was like oh my gosh I'm so tired and they're like what I'm like yeah I gotta go to sleep <laughs> and then I woke up and I made pancakes and then I started my laundry and I'm already just like I need to do something so I figured maybe I'll just go to the like bookstore or something because bookstores are usually pretty quiet anyway and there's never really a lot of people in them so I figured well that's probably like the best place for me to go plus I'm like oh if I get some new reads and maybe like the quarantine time won't feel as bad. Like, I haven't been, like, going out to eat at all. Like, I totally just avoided, like, going to restaurants and fast foods or anything like that. Plus, I don't really eat fast food. Anyway, that's a whole other vlog that I need to do. <laughs> and, but, um, I just, like, don't go out and eat because I'm like, I don't want to, like, eat something and then, like, have the virus or something. Like, I'm not gonna put me through that. But, 
As far as like everything else goes, it's like my natural life. I mean, it's been pretty good. Like my coworkers are actually really hardworking and really cool. We're all about the same age and we're kind of like all on the same page. So it's been really nice that way to have like some really good coworkers again. So uh, that was kind of my biggest worry, I think, of moving. I was like, oh my gosh, what if I have to go to 40 hours a week with people that are just boring? But they are not at all. They are really cool. They're really awesome. I'm really enjoying this job. I don't know why, like, because I didn't like, because I mean, I work under a company and then like, so there's other departments. I don't know why I didn't like choose that department to begin with. I'm like, this is such a more like hands-on, brainy, something everything is different every single day job and that's usually like what i prefer i think it's a that's why i like music because i like doing different things all the time and i just really enjoy this so i'm kind of having a lot of fun with my new job um as far as like my music obviously i mean marlon's been helping me out like working on stuff like he actually helped me out with the friday video that you guys watched um the coronavirus one like he was he was the one to help me with the harmonies. He was the, he's actually the one that like, didn't like tell me to do that song, but he told me like, cause I was going to do another song originally. And he was like, no, you can do better. I've seen you do better. So be better. And I was like, ouch. And so I went back to the drawing board and then I did this and he was like, okay, let's just add a few harmonies, yada, yada. He taught me cause he, Marlon's very good with his ear. And you're probably going to realize that his, he's like, He's very talented. He's a very talented individual. Like that's why him and I just hang out and we gravitate towards each other. Because he was like, yep, the, do this, do this, do that. And even with the video editing and stuff like that, he's like kind of was doing that. So shout out to Marlon for like helping me out on this one. And because this video has been doing actually really well. And I don't know if it's just because of the quarantine stuff and whatever, but I'm going to keep making lots of more YouTube content because, I mean, we're all just in the house anyway, and I'm bored and I need to do something. So, yeah. So I guess this is the end of the vlog, really, because I've just been inside most of my time. <laughs>